In Image 28, PeopleSoft enables the Fluid User Interface for the Treasury Work Center, allowing users to review and take actions on Treasury activities. The My Work section provides users access to critical pieces of their job, such as finalizing accounting entries, approving transfer templates, viewing high-value payments awaiting dispatch, and more. And with the Treasury Work Center for PeopleSoft Fluid, users can access My Work from a mobile device. The Links section includes personalized navigations and allows users to create links to other frequently used locations. The Query section includes links to Query Manager, Public Queries, Private Queries, and Actionable Operational Analytics. The Reports and Processes section provides access to system-defined reports and processes based on permissions. This completes our demonstration of the Fluid Treasury Work Center feature. The supplier-facing self-service functions in eSettlements now leverage the Fluid User Interface, giving supplier users access to self-service functions. When using the Fluid User Interface, supplier users can create, view, delete, correct, and inquire invoices, and perform dispute resolution. In addition, suppliers can perform many other tasks, such as upload invoice data, review and respond to messages from the buyer, and review agreement details. A supplier uses the Invoice Inquiry tile to view a list of invoices and review invoice details. The Payment Inquiry tile helps a supplier view a list of payments and view payment details. The Dispute Resolution tile helps display all the invoices that are in dispute due to payment hold. The Upload Invoices tile helps the supplier load invoice data to their system. The Messages tile is used to review messages posted by the buying organization and respond to the messages for specific invoices. The Messages tile displays the count of messages that are awaiting supplier review. The My Agreements tile helps a supplier view the agreements created between a buyer and a supplier. The Self-Service Invoice tile enables a supplier to create view, delete, correct, and print invoices for their organization. Select a row to view an invoice. You can also update, print, and delete an invoice. To create a new invoice, click the plus sign. The Self-Service Invoice Create Invoice Page Activity Guide provides a step-by-step -step approach, guiding a supplier user through the creation of a new invoice. Suppliers use the Purchase Order tile to view and create an invoice directly from a purchase order. The PO Flip option triggers the Self-Service Invoice Creation Activity Guide, where suppliers can view, modify, and submit an invoice directly from a purchase order. Note that to access the Purchase Order tile, suppliers must have access to PeopleSoft eSupplier Connection. This completes our demonstration of the Fluid eSettlements feature. Asset Management now enables you to add transaction-specific comments and attachments to several existing components, such as Cost Adjust Transfer Asset, Basic Add, and Retire Reinstate Asset. The comments and attachments are then available for review by asset clerks and accountants when reviewing asset history, as well as during the approval process. For example, when adjusting the cost of an asset using the Cost Adjust Transfer Asset component, you can note your changes using the Comments and Attachments links. Use the Comments page to enter supplemental information about the cost adjustment. Use the Attachments page to attach supporting documentation for the cost adjustment. When another user reviews the asset history, in this case the cost history, the individual can use the Comments and Attachments links to view the supplemental information entered. The Comments page displays the supplemental text, user ID, and username associated with the comments. The Attachments page displays a link to the supporting documentation, description, user ID, and username associated with the attachment. This completes our discussion of the Asset Management Transaction Comments and Attachments feature.
In Update Image 28, PeopleSoft enhances the capabilities of the technician workbench, enabling maintenance technicians to enter actual labor hours for work order tasks. Technicians can also perform mass changes of labor time on multiple work orders. On the Technician Workbench Actual Hours page, select the actual dates and enter actual times and hours. After you save the required details, the Time Entry Source field displays the source of the timesheet. The available time entry sources are actual hours, time entry, and multiple sources. On the Mass Change page, Enter the actual hours worked for a group of work order tasks that are not closed or canceled. You can also update the PCR codes of the selected work order tasks. This completes our demonstration of the Technician Workbench Mass Update feature. In Update Image 28, PeopleSoft provides options to specify auto assignment rules for work orders, including work order source, shop primary scheduler, and crew leader fields. On the Auto Assignment and Dispatch Setup Criteria page, you can select the required work order source, for example, preventive maintenance. On the Auto Assignment and Dispatch Setup Labor page, select the shop primary scheduler or crew leader checkbox as required. When you create a new work order, the Work Order Schedules page automatically displays the shop scheduler or crew leader details based on your selection. Crew and employee ID fields have been added to the Preventive Maintenance Schedule Advanced Options page. These fields override the shop primary scheduler and crew leader criteria defined on the Auto Assignment and Dispatch Setup page. The crew and employee values can be overridden for the loop and location preventive maintenance schedules as well. This completes our discussion of the Preventive Maintenance Schedule Auto Assignment feature. In Image 28, PeopleSoft Billing allows you to perform keyword searches for invoices using Elasticsearch technology. Keyword Search allows you to execute a deeper, more freeform search to access application data. PeopleSoft Billing provides keyword search capabilities for bill entry, bill summary, and bill inquiry components. This keyword search capability can even include lower level fields such as bill status, bill type, customer, invoice date, and billing specialist. This completes our discussion of the Component Search Credit to Cash in Billing feature. In Update Image 28, PeopleSoft enhances the Mobile PAR Location Counts feature by adding options to display the source option and last activity details of counted items. If you select the Last Activity checkbox on the Installation Options Mobile Inventory Fluid page, the PAR Location Count page displays the item's last count date and time. The source options are Stock, Non-Stock, and Stockless. If the Source Option checkbox is selected on the Installation Options Mobile Inventory Fluid page, the PAR Location Count page displays the source of the item. This completes our discussion of the mobile PAR count enhancements. This enhancement allows an organization to load credit cards from multiple issuers pertaining to the same credit card network. A new field, Card Issuer on the Load External Data Sources page, allows users to select required multiple card issuers to load corresponding card data. On the Payment Type Corporate Card page, administrators can select a corporate card issuer and corresponding credit card codes can be mapped to their associated payment types. This completes our discussion of multiple credit card feeds in a single organization enhancement. PeopleSoft delivers mobile approvals for receivables using the Enterprise Component Fluid Approvals Framework. The Pending Approvals Maintenance Refund page enables you to view a list of all maintenance refunds that are pending your approval. 
You can also approve, deny, or push back one or more refund requests. Click a maintenance refund line item to access the maintenance refund approval header detail page. The maintenance refund approval header detail page enables you to view summary and line detail information for a maintenance refund request, such as requester, total worksheet refunds, and amount. You can also approve, deny, or push back the refund requests from this page. You can select a row in the Line Details grid to access the Line Details Maintenance Refund page and view item summary and line details for the refund line. This completes our discussion of the Approval Workflow for Refunds feature. PeopleSoft Receivables has added the Keyword Search feature to view update item details, regular deposit, and all payment search pages. These keyword search pages are now using the PeopleSoft Search Framework to perform advanced text-based searches. You can perform additional filtering using the faceted fields on the left. This completes our discussion of the Keyword Search for Receivables Items feature. Multiple improvements have been made to the Bidder Invitation search functionality. Searching by name or company is easier with the addition of the Begins With and Contains search operators. Category Search Criteria is added to supplement the recommended Bidder's search option. This provides an easy way to search for bidders or suppliers who are registered under categories that are different than the event categories. The new Any Diversity Search option provides a way to search or filter results that meet any of the 10 delivered supplier diversity settings. A new diversity icon indicates that the bidder or supplier meets one or multiple diversity criteria. In the Search Results grid, users can drill into the category or diversity details by clicking the corresponding icons. Diversity percentage is displayed by event, so users can quickly see if they are meeting their company's diversity initiatives. Diversity details are displayed in the diversity classification graph. This completes our discussion of the Enhanced Bidder Invitation Pages feature. The following features were also added to FSCM Update Image 28. Retroactive F&A Processing Enhancements in Grants hide bank accounting information from external users in payables, GST India taxes in billing, and error handling for the transaction loader and pre-interface transactions in asset management. We've only shown you the highlights of the features in this PeopleSoft update image. For more information about these features and the other enhancements, see the CFO tool, the update image overview on my Oracle support, and go to the PeopleSoft information portal for updates.